typical day in the beat life for Lars Pro, man. This right here, man. The studio, man. You know what I mean? My dudes, man. We in here. This the real lab shit right here. You know what I mean? Like, we in the lab. Got the, got the mic down there. Got the mic curved at all types of different angles and shit like that. We in here real, some real laboratory shit. And, and we barking. And we barking. Right. We ain't in here fucking bullshit. And we in here barking and shit. You see my nigga right there. That's the... Round sniper right there, call Mega and shit. You know, you see, so we we here artillery. We got heavy artillery and shit. We got beat niggas, my nigga hell right here, man. <laughs> Crazy on the beats and shit, man. All types of shit, man. You tapped into the real circuit, man. It, right. Motherfucking engineer, extraordinary EQ right there. You know, he he right there, like with the ears and shit. Like he ain't even, you know, he right there with the ears and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. L Fish, that's my brother from day one right there. This whole rap shit, you know, it's like, it's a beautiful thing right here. So we just listening to the tracks, throwing the ears to a survey and like, you know, and then brother might come say, yo, P, nah, yo, that right there. Or, you know, yo, this right there and shit. So this is real shit right here, what we doing. You know what I mean? It, this is real shit, what we doing right here. Like y'all tapped into some for real shit. Well, definitely with hip hop, man, we we work with what we have, what we can work with right then. You know, we working with the frequency, you know, the bass. It definitely derives from reggae, rockers, you know, so it's like we deal with bass, crisp highs, you know, everything is stream, like extreme snares, crisp highs, very low bass. So it's like, you know, to achieve that, You'd be surprised what dudes could come up with, man. It's just like jail dudes, you know, jail dudes being there cooking all kinds of meals and all of that, man, doing what they do, man. It's like, yo, yo, this is this is this is what we gonna do. You know, we make the best out of all of that. There's a lot of industrialization that happened with hip hop. A lot of the stuff that we kept as rules a lot of dudes just started saying nah why we got rules like why don't we do it like how the music industry does it and we'll bite his beat and incorporate it with something else and do this and that so that's basically what happened like I come from the days of where you don't bite if a man made a beat a certain way you know, you don't you don't touch that. You leave that alone. You know what I mean? That's like trying to paint the Mona Lisa over. It's like, nah, leave that alone, man. That's a one in, a one of a kind right there. Like so, I mean, that's where we are with it, man. And you got to take the bitter with the sweet. You know, it's all good. Yo, large. I know this is impossible, but if you had to pick your favorite favorite beat ever or that remix, I did? yeah, that you did for somebody. What would it be? <clears throat> it all it varies on a day to day basis. So right. I say since my dude Mega is here, I say the journey joint for today. Tomorrow it could be something different, but today <laughs> it'd be the journey joint. You know all what right. I mean? Y'all gotta check for that on Born and Raised. Call Mega Born and Raised. I did a joint called Journey. It's real ill, it's some slick shit, bro, definitely. Mm -hmm. It varies though on a day to day basis, it varies like Tomorrow it might be a Slick Rick remix, you know what I mean? I'm blessed, man. I, I, I work with all the real dealers, you know what I mean? So it's like, I just sit back and it's like jewels. It's like jewelry. That's my jewelry. That's my gems. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I could go back to my Slick Rick joint, my Nas joint, my Cormega joint, my Tragedy. Common kind of Resurrection joint. Yeah, Resurrection <laughs> Common. You know what I mean? So definitely, I'm just, you know, we still building too. We still building. We got to get all these ideas out, you know, when I'm... When I'm finished, I ain't got no more songs, and I'm, I'm, I'm good, you know, but I, I still got mad songs. <laughs> like, 
for me would be Marley Mall, 45 King, Pete Rock, DJ Premier, Lost Professor, Ninth Wonder, Just Blaze. It can't. I can't narrow it down to five, man. It's 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 just crazy. Yeah, it's it. Now I gotta be for me. It gotta be like fifty, man, because there's a lot of dudes out there that's doing their thing, man. It's beautiful, man. You know, it's just that the younger generations would even want to take that and use that as the template for a project for themselves is beautiful man like i i salute them man like i'm like yo that's that's a beautiful thing to do man to try to add on to that and you know take it to another level you know what i mean but illmatic is illmatic you know what i mean like that's that's the that's the cornerstone right there what you doing now so late trying to exfoliate getting you some night air I hate next candidate for the slammer of state. Better reconsider your plan and leave that shit to your man. Ducking, dodging, smoozing, hobnobbing with the wrong crowd. What seems to be the role that I play in Queens hip hop, man, is, is beautiful, man. Like, that's a blessing, that's a gift from God. I put myself out there early, though. You know what I mean? I put myself out there early. And now I'm here 20 plus later, still at it getting busy and that's the thing that's good is that you know i'm still building like i still got songs in my system you know i feel like when i don't have any more songs then all right cool i'm good like well i still got mad songs in my system that i gotta get out to the world you know More projects, man. I'm working on my own next solo project right now, Professor at Large. Uh, and just keep building, man. Basically, man, just keep building, man. Like I said, I ain't trying to go out here and, you know, all of this. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about all of that, man. I just want to add on and just have something nice, nice pieces of art, man. Nice displays of art, man, to, to add on to his story, man. Definitely. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Lars, Professor, the Mad Scientist, Extra P. Chilling out right here, shouting out everybody on Out The Box TV. That's what it is. Peace. Stay strong for whoever try to step that route. Get burnt to a crisp with just a flick of a wrist. We resuscitate the modern day state of this game. Can't disclaim the fact I've been at it remain. What it was isn't gonna be. Knew that I was gonna see you.